Welcome to another session of the Layout Editor. This video uh, session we will talk about backgating and ancestry in the Layout Editor. In order to invoke the Layout Editor, go ahead and click the L button at the top of your workspace. This will open up a sheet. Oftentimes will kind of open up to the right of your workspace. For the ancestry and backgating, you may want to work with your terminal populations, although it doesn't matter which populations you want to look at, just uh, something that's down the chain a little bit. Drag those populations into the layout editor. And then from here, you can kind of move, I'm gonna move this plot off towards the right. We'll start with the initial plot here, which is looking at some cells that are expressing interferon uh, gamma. If I right click on the plot, you'll notice there's a, a drop down menu that has a lot of different options. Towards the uh, middle pane and, and, and towards the bottom, I guess, of the middle pane, you'll see an option that says ancestry. If you click on the ancestry, this will go ahead and give you a panel that includes all of the gates that led to the population that you're looking at. So I can go ahead and expand this a little bit and I'll scroll down so you can see I have my initial lymphocyte gate and then of course I've got singlets here and then live cells, CD3s, CD8s, and then ultimately I've got a histogram gate here that is looking at interferon positive events. Now the uh, Ancestry panel here, you can arrange this in two different ways. You can either make it go horizontal or vertical. So I just had it in the vertical position and I'm uh, moving it over to the uh, horizontal. And we'll make it go vertical again, just for example's sake. Now, in addition to the, the uh, ancestry, there's also the option to visualize the back gating. So if we right click on the plot, you will notice that directly underneath the Ancestry option is Backgating. You can go ahead and click on Backgating. This will give you a panel that looks very much like Ancestry in that there are a series of gates here, the same exact gates that led to the population that you're looking at in the end. However, you'll notice that the coloring is gray or red. And in fact, if you right click on the pane itself, you can change the visualization of this pane, again, moving it either horizontal or vertical. Uh, you can switch between ancestry and backgating if you'd like to. You can also show large dots, which is probably one of my favorite options. And then you can also show contours where you make contour lines uh, for the, the actual backgated events versus, um, versus all other events. So if I untick this, we'll kind of go back to my favorite way of viewing this, which is the large dots. And what backgating happens to have, or is trying to do, at least in Flojo V10 here, is we're just taking this terminal gate, the one that is defining what is interferon positive, and we are projecting this backwards throughout the analysis. So you're basically simply asking the question, where else in my analysis can I find interferon positive events as judged by this gate? So whatever is defining interferon positivity here is also defining interferon positivity in all previous steps. So as we move back, you can see all of the red dots that appear inside of our gates. These are interferon positive events that are being quantified in this terminal gate. The red dots that fall outside of our parental gates, these are interferon positive cells that are not being quantified down here. They're not being counted, obviously, because our ancestral gates here are limiting. But in some cases, that uh, makes sense. Obviously, if we're looking at CD8 positive T cells, we only want to capture and describe interferon positive T uh, CD8 T cells in the end. We don't want to talk about the interferon positive CD4s or in some cases here, T cells that are negative for CD4 and CD8 but also express interferon. Same thing can be witnessed here when we look at our gate for CD3 positive cells. You'll notice that there are some CD3 negative cells that express interferon and we're obviously ultimately not interested in them falling into this terminal gate, but this backgating tool allows us to see that yes, there are, uh, there are cells that express interferon that are not T cells in my, in my mix. Thank you for listening.